Monday, the 17th of April, 1944. Dear Kitty, do you think that Daddy and Mommy would approve of my sitting and kissing a boy on the divan, a boy of 17 and a half and a girl of just under 15? I don't really think they would, but I must rely on myself over this. It is so quiet and peaceful to lie in his arms and to dream. It is so thrilling to feel his cheek against mine. It is so lovely to know that there is someone waiting for me. But there is indeed a big but, because will Peter be content to leave it at this? I haven't forgotten his promise already, but he is a boy. I know myself that I'm starting very soon, not even 15, and so independent already. It's certainly hard for other people to understand. I know almost for certain that Margot would never kiss a boy unless there had been some talk of an engagement or marriage, but neither Peter nor I have anything like that in mind. I'm sure, too, that Mommy would never touch the man before Daddy. What would my girlfriend say about it if they knew that I lay in Peter's arms, my heart against his chest, my head on his shoulder, with his head against mine? Oh, Anne, how scandalous. But honestly, I don't think it is. We are shut up here, shut away from the world in fear and anxiety, especially just lately. Why, then, should we, who love each other, remain apart? Why should we wait until we've reached this suitable age? Why should we bother? I have taken it upon myself to look after myself. He would never want to cause me sorrow or pain. Why shouldn't I follow the way my heart leads me, if it makes us both happy? All the same, Kitty, I believe you can sense that I'm in doubt. I think it must be in my honesty which rebels against doing anything on the sly. Do you think it's my duty to tell Daddy what I'm doing? Do you think we should share our secret with a third person? A lot of the beauty would be lost, but would my conscience feel happier? I will discuss it with him. Oh yes, there is still so much I want to talk to him about, for I don't see the use of only cuddling each other. To exchange our thoughts, that shows confidence and faith in each other. We would both be sure to profit from it. Yours, Anne.